Greetings, my friends. Today's video is the second part with Sword to War tips for you. And today's tip is also technical, it's not about gameplay, it's how to make the game run a little bit smoother. No, this tip will not make it go from 15, 20 or 30 FPS up to 60 or 90 or 100, but it will improve FPS and it has been proven multiple times throughout the years that this does help. Installing DirectX 9 when you're using a newer version of Windows. The article that I wrote uh, as a blog post on my website a couple of days ago deals with Windows 10, but it is exactly the same process with Windows 8, 8.1, and even 7. So if you're using, using one of those, you have a newer version of DirectX 9. Windows 10, for example, for the purposes of this video and the article, comes packed with the newest edition of DirectX 12. Our favorite game, Star Wars The Old Republic, is created and uses only DirectX 9. In order for it to display its beauty, the system needs to emulate the DirectX 9 effects, which may slow it down and result in a poor performance. We already know that the engine is causing more than enough crap performance for the game, so we don't need extra factors and extra things to benefit to this. By installing manually DirectX 9 package, we stop that process of simulation and allow our PC to use the original files the game is designed for. Thus, in theory at least, speeding the process up. This installation won't make software run smoother and flawlessly, like we all dream and hope for, but it is very likely to boost it at least a little bit. I have been doing this since the game's launch, and for those nearly four years I've gone through from Windows 7 through Windows 8, 8.1, and now I'm using Windows 10 Pro. By installing DirectX 9, you do not remove the 12, because this is the default newest available version that Windows 10 arrives with. It's by default integrated into the Windows operating system. This manual installer will just add extra libraries, and it gives the game you play an option which wants to use. If the game can benefit from DirectX 11 or 12, it will use those because you already have them in your Windows. There is no overriding or replacing. The installation just adds another layer of files. And one last note, installing DirectX 9 does not hurt your system. It will not break anything. The link provided below in the description of the video as well as on the article here is from the original Microsoft website. You can download it very easy, the installation is quite quick and very, very simple. If you have any troubles, leave a comment and let me know what your experience is. And be aware, after you install it, you don't have to change anything in or out of the game. The game, by default, knows what to use and if it finds DirectX files, it will start using them and it will not have to simulate the effects that are by default provided with the DirectX 9 libraries. In the end, please take a moment and share this with your friends and other players because it's important not only for Star Wars The Old Republic but any other game that is designed for other packages. They will all benefit from it. And just on a side note, if you open your start menu and you type these letters DXDIAG or DXDIAG as I call it, you will see on the very bottom of the system tab DirectX version 12. This is by default the one that your PC is running, just in case you're curious. You don't have to do it. Yes, in this case I have installed manually 9, DX9, but it won't show here because it only shows the newest one. I hope you found this tip useful. Thank you for watching the video. If you have suggestions for other tips that you think other players will benefit from them, whether it's gameplay or not gameplay related, anything that has SOTOR in its title, share them with me. See you with the next one. Bye-bye. Remember, you can find me also on Twitch, Twitter and Facebook. For my non-Star Wars activities, I invite you to subscribe to my second YouTube channel.